All right, guys, we're live. And I did it on the first try, which is super impressive for me. So I'm super stoked tonight. It is Friday night, and we are talking essential oils and safety. Bo is trying to come up with a name for this live webinar. And he was thinking, okay, so what should we call this? Should we call this... Um, are essential oils dangerous? He was trying to think of something super creative. He goes, how safe are essential oils? And if you've ever followed our YouTube, then you know that he's always trying to come up with like some really ridiculous thing and then inevitably he'll pan to me and I'm just sort of like, okay. So tonight we are definitely talking about are essential oils safe to use? My name is Kelly Brotherton and I get to run a YouTube channel with my husband that features our family and sort of our story about being a family that challenges the status quo and swims upstream. So our present day adventure in that is that we currently live in the suburbs and we are moving in this next year in 2017 to some property that we purchased in the last few years and we will be um, really learning how to homestead for the first time ever. So we've done some things here. And if you're following us on YouTube, you've gotten to see some of those adventures. We also have a little kid coming soon. Um, and part of the reason we are able to leave our suburb area and move out into sort of the fringe, like not really out of the city, but um, definitely out of city limits. And live off the land is our job is to help people get essential oils. So about, it's been, it's been just over four years. About four years ago, we were brand new parents to our second kiddo. So we'd had, we had a two-year-old and a newborn. And we really had no idea of like what natural solutions were. We cleaned with Clorox. We drank sodas, all of the things that most of us do in normal American life. And it was just this perfect timing that our midwife would introduce us to essential oils. So that's where it all started. We came to a class kind of like this, except I went to, it was at a boutique. It was a local class. And it was one of my favorite stores and I figured, well, if I don't learn anything, at least I can go pick up something cute for the baby. And while I was there, my eyes were just opened to solutions that we had no idea were even options. And I'm hoping that that is what happens tonight. So as you are on this call, it's really an invitation to just learn more. So we'll cover a couple different things. We want you to ask your questions and you can do that in the live chat. So if you're on your computer, you'll see the live chat and you'll be able to go ahead and just kind of start typing things in. In a sec, we'll do a little roll call and you guys will be able to share where you're from and what you love about essential oils or what your top questions are. And then Bo is actually gonna be in the, the live chat where he'll comment back. We did not get our kids to bed by seven o'clock, shocker. So <laughs> he is going to be, I think, settling down with a movie and they're just gonna watch while we do this and he'll text in on the side. Um, but it's really important that I don't just sit here and spew a bunch of knowledge to you, but that we're engaging and we're having conversation throughout this time so that you're getting the answers you really wanna know. Or if you've had a great success with essential oils, a lot of you, participated in our last oil campaign where we just sent out, I think we sent out almost 20 different um, packages of oils with over, gosh, that must have been 60 samples um, to a bunch of different people who were really excited about oils. So Bo is clicking ahead. He's saying hey to everybody in the chat. And we're just excited to be with you tonight. So we want you to walk away knowing more than you knew about oils when you came in. We also want a safe space for you to ask questions. And then lastly, if now is the right time for you to get started with essential oils, we can talk more and help you do that tonight. So let's jump right in. As you have questions, um, and as you're just logging on, I know we've got about half a dozen people in here right now. Go ahead and share your name and where you're from and how you found out about this event tonight. We've got John on. Hey, John, thanks for commenting. Um, and go ahead and do that in the live chat. That way, that way we can connect with you and, uh, and just answer your questions a little bit better. So it'll be most fun as you guys participate and you don't feel like you're just getting a lecture because you're grownups and, well, most of you will be, but nobody really wants a lecture. So let's have a conversation instead. 
So when we first started oils, we had no clue. I mean, literally, I'm going to show you what we started with. We had not this colorful of a keychain because I kind of have a crush on this one. But we had a little black and white keychain that was given to us by our midwife. And it had a bunch of these tiny little, oh, that one's missing a lid, tiny little samples of oils. And now that I've had children, I can tell you that um, they get into my oils and someone must have opened a bottle of, smells like, I think wild orange maybe, we had two in here. So she gave us these tiny little sample bottles of oils. And one day, I think someone was, I don't know, not feeling, just under the weather at our house. And I said, hey, you know, what oil should we use for this? I'm texting my midwife. And she said, use peppermint. And that was all she said. It was very broad in terms of like the word use. It could mean anything. I had no idea what use meant. So I knew I needed to learn more. And it just so happened that same week, I got an, um, an email from one of these, these um, email newsletters that I was a part of. And it shared that that weekend they were going to have an essential oil event in their location. So I snagged my sister up, we took a three month old baby, and we just went to learn. So if that's you, if you just wanna come learn, this is the perfect place to do it. And it's my favorite way to share our doTERRA because someone just did that for me. If someone had not opened their mouth and told me what they knew about oils and pointed me in a direction where I could learn more, I would, I would never have a lot of the freedoms that we have now. For example, we came in from a full day outside of, um, outside in our backyard, in our front yard. We kind of were everywhere. And we came in, and of course, we live in Houston, and it's a swamp year-round, and the mosquitoes are insane. But instead of having scratchy, itchy kids all night, we put some lavender on those bug bites, and instantly they were soothed. The redness reduced in appearance. It was just a much more calming effect when we applied that essential oil. So that's just one of the stories, in fact, only one of the ways that we use oils in our household today. And it's my hope that you guys will find one of those tidbits to use out of the oils that you have already, or maybe some inspiration to take that next step. And if you've been on the fence about essential oils, this might be just the confidence booster that you need to go ahead and start that path. Say, all right, my next step is to get oils in my house. And we want to help you do that tonight. So let's take a look at some of the safety concerns. And if you have any questions about the safety of essential oils, go ahead and ask them in that, in that chat because we want to make sure we don't leave any questions unanswered. This time is for you. So while I have these little bottles of essential oils, and I really didn't know how to use them, I go to the class. I'm sitting there with my sister. She's like eyes wide open looking at me. I'm looking back at her. And with each story being told and each illustration given by the instructor, I just felt more and more like this is for us. This has been waiting for us. And we didn't know that that power of essential oils existed. So we were ready to jump right in and just adopt all of the information that she was taking, um, sharing with us. And the first thing I knew was I had these tiny bottles, right? But the tiny bottles I had really had very little instruction with them. Um, I knew I had everything from peppermint to a digestive support oil and immune support. But when it came to practically applying them to, at that point, my very small, small children, um, all of my kids are older now than my oldest one was at that time. Hey, Josh, glad you're here. Um, that we had no context for how to use these. So we began to research ourselves. And when we started doTERRA in our area, we could walk into a room and no one knew what essential oils were about. And about four years later, I'm so encouraged because sometimes now we'll walk into a room and someone will say, hey, yeah, I'm using that essential oil or you smell like Intune or you smell like uh, Immortel, which is quite a compliment compared to like, hey, you really stink. And um, it's funny because they may actually be enrolled on our team by someone we shared oils with. So it's so easy to be contagious about, I love this, it's a great success for my family, and you have to tell someone else about it, right? So that's what where we started was someone told us just their great successes. Hey, Joseph, glad you're here. And, uh, and that's really where we start with you. So our first success with doTERRA was a small bottle like this. 
we um, we actually tried, I think it was clove and chamomile before we ever purchased any oils. And it was just the perfect teething combination for my son who was getting all those new teeth in, right? Um, but this little bottle is one that was totally empty. And a friend of mine, after we had just gotten hit with something nasty at her house, in fact, 20 of us were all at her house having dinner, pancakes, and every single person went home with some kind of bug. Well, it lingered and lingered in our home, and there was no resolving it. It was like we brought this second child home, and all of a sudden, we are the petri dish of all the germs and all of the gross things that could come into our life. But she shared with us a small sample this size of probably about 20 drops of our On Guard blend. And then she filled it the rest of the way, maybe even 10 drops of On Guard in this one. Filled it the rest of the way with coconut oil. And she diluted it. So that's what she did with it. Instead of just giving us straight essential oils, she diluted it with a coconut oil. Our coconut oil looks like this. I don't know if you can, this might be kind of hard to see with the colors. Yeah, there we go. So this is our coconut oil. And it's about four, I think it's right around, yeah, almost four ounces full of coconut oil. This will last you forever. And the difference between our coconut oil and cooking coconut oil, if you can hear that, this is always liquid. So when you want to use this ahead of time and create a blend like our friend Kelly did for us, I know another Kelly, right? She put essential oils and then diluted it with coconut oil for safety. And that's really the first tip when it comes to safety with essential oils. So a lot of us are using oils in a diffuser like that, super safe. Really effective way to use oils. This takes a little bit of water and about five to eight drops of essential oil in it. And then it'll run for eight hours. So you're getting a really steady dose of oils aromatically. I recommend this from cradle to grave ages. Anyone who's excited about using the benefits of essential oil for calming, for energy, for immune support, to help purify the air without toxic chemicals, the diffuser is the way to go. But a lot of us are going to use oils topically, whether it's with small children who are running in and out of the room or we're running around during the day or we've got meetings, those kinds of things where we can't just sit in the same spot and breathe in oils. Diluting an essential oil in a container ahead of time is going to be really, really helpful. So in fact, when my friend put her coconut oil with her On Guard oil, and she filled it up in this container for us, what she did was actually gave us over a month's supply of that On Guard oil. So each night we were taking our kids' feet and we were just rolling that bottle. You see how it gets a little bit oily there? Just rolling that bottle. Mine still smells like On Guard right now, even though it's empty. Um, rolling that oil right on the bottoms of their feet to strengthen their immune system while they're resting. Or if we have a sore throat, this happens often, I'm a singer and I teach classes like this all the time, then I'll just apply it directly to my neck. In other ways that we use uh, On Guard oil, is just applying it directly to the chest to help breathe in that oil. But whenever we use it topically, we're gonna put a coconut oil or some sort of plant-based fatty oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, um, what's another one, avocado oil. These are all excellent bases. You can even use an unscented lotion. doTERRA uses a lotion. But the reason, three reasons we really want to use an essential oil with a carrier oil um, is all safety based. So the first is it's going to go over a larger surface area. Let's say I had a bug bite right here like I had earlier actually and I took that lavender and I just put it right here it's really not going to spread very far just one drop of lavender isn't going to go far but if I wanted to cover this whole area then just one or two drops of the coconut oil with one drop of the lavender is really going to stretch the surface area that I can cover with my essential oil so it makes a huge difference in how effective it is to cover a larger space you can put this in a spray bottle. In fact, here's an example of what I use. We've got a baby coming really soon. So I just make this spray ahead of time. And this is almost all water. Um, this is actually my Ongar spray. But when I have a baby, I'll put mostly, mostly coconut oil, the liquid, in here. And then I put in Hillocrisum frankincense 
lavender, and melaleuca all together in here in almost equal parts of, of drops of oils. And then this becomes my spray for my baby or postpartum care, whichever you like and for whatever reason you need it. But this is a great way to apply oils to your baby or to apply a diaper rash spray to your baby without having to um, apply it with your hand, which can be irritating to their skin. So that's a huge benefit of using a carrier oil. Or for hand spray, we just put some water in here, a little bit of salt, and then the On Guard spray in here. And that's diluting it, but in a different way. Um, so when we're using it topically, use an essential oil and a coconut oil, or use an essential oil and a carrier oil to spread that larger surface area. And then the second reason is we want to also apply it in a way that's going to um, really penetrate the skin better. So the, 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 the way that essential oils are, are kind of chemically arranged is that they're gonna dilute very quickly. So, or sorry, evaporate very quickly. So if we put just a drop of that lavender in our hands, rub your hands together, and breathe them in like this, about 80% of your lavender oil is gonna evaporate. That's what they're made to do. It's a good, good thing. It's one of the reasons diffusers work so well. But if what you really wanna do is that lavender to therapeutically benefit your skin, you want it to stay there. You don't want it to just evaporate. So by applying it to your skin with a carrier oil, it's actually gonna penetrate through the layers of skin more effectively and get into your bloodstream really more efficiently because we're not gonna have so much of it evaporating and you'll get kind of a lower dose, right? The third reason that you wanna use essential oils with a carrier oil is it's gonna reduce sensitization. So this isn't just a skin sensitivity like, oh, I put on this oil and, and it was a really warm oil and I noticed redness on my skin. We're not just talking about that. We're talking about long-term use of essential oils. And anytime, even good things for your body, let's say you drank a lot of milk and you drank a lot of milk over time, um, but you also had leaky gut, then you can your body can create um, a long-term sensitivity to milk and it's no longer good for your body. We don't wanna have that with essential oils. It's completely preventable. So if you use a carrier oil, whenever you apply essential oils topically, it's going to spread a larger surface area. It's going to help benefit that um, penetration of oils into your bloodstream. And it's gonna reduce sensitization over time using that oil. Because we want you to be able to still use your oils over time. So use them very safely. If you're seeing, um, if you're seeing websites and recipes that say, apply 80 drops you know, real liberally to the body, it's not that they're bad, but I would just question the credibility of that salesperson. They, maybe they're just trying to sell you essential oils. And doTERRA's heart across the board is that you would be educated, that you would be empowered, and that you would have, um, that you need at the ready to use essential oils well. Because in some cases, in many families, um, they are the game changer. It's the thing that everyone's been waiting for. It's the answer to a lot of the stressors in life. And if you can help to reduce some of those stressors, then you've given your family a heads up, either in um, their emotional or physical health. We're benefiting both of those areas with essential oils. So start asking your questions and we'll, we'll pause in just a second so you don't feel like you're getting hit by a fire hose, right? Uh, there's, there's so much information about essential oils that it can feel that way. And know that this is just the first step in a conversation. A lot of you guys look like you have your oils already, which is awesome. So hopefully you gain a few tips that will help you use them really well. Um, let's talk about the containers that I just showed you. So this container of coconut oil, it comes with, uh, it's just plastic. You hear that? So it's just plastic, and it's because it's a fatty oil. The coconut oil is not going to be um, anything that's going to break down synthetics, right? But when I looked, or when I shared with you my, my baby bottom spray or my On Guard spray, and this very first sample of On Guard that I ever tried, you can hear that these are both glass. And the reason for glass as a safe container for essential oils 
is that glass is not going to break down in synthetic in the way that plastic will. So for example, I will give you another little demonstration. Anybody in Texas love this Topo Chico, right? I hear it's very chic, but here it's like, ah, eh, you can get it at Costco. So it's a bubble water, but I put a drop of lime in it before I started, right? Perfectly safe to do. What I'm not going to put this in is a bottle of Nestle water or Dasani or something that I picked up from the grocery store in the checkout aisle because it's plastic and we don't need, we definitely don't need in those cheap little plastic bottles more plastic leaching into the water. So you never ever want to use oils in plastic or in styrofoam, especially when you're taking them internally. And the same goes for storage. Don't store your bottles in, or don't store your oils or any kind of mixture that you make in a plastic because it really is going to break down that synthetic. And then that plastic, all the things that you are trying to avoid by being healthier with oils, is actually leaching into the product that you're trying to use. So by ad addressing it with um, a, a glass bottle, um, doTERRA's, all of their products now are coming in an even smarter bottle than they ever have before. This is an example of a line that comes from doTERRA it's called the touch line. It also has those glass bottles, if you can hear that. And then doTERRA did something really innovative here. It's my favorite thing. They put in a stainless steel roller. So now, not only does it feel really smooth and like therapeutic when you're applying oils with this cool, very um, cooling to the touch, roller bottle but when you're doing it you know that you're getting really solid structure to the bottle itself this one's called yeah this one's console um but you're also getting gosh that smells good <sighs> never teach with essential oils when you're not like focused on what you're teaching because i'm all distracted now by an amazing scent and it looks weird for those of you who haven't tried oils i'm just like sniffing my wrist right um but this is a line that's already diluted, similar to what I shared with you about my friend who put essential oils in a bottle and then filled it with coconut oil. You can actually purchase them from the company that's already diluted, so it has a really safe ratio to use with your kiddos or up through elderly people who often have um, skin sensitivities or very thin skin. Or if you know that that's something that you deal with, definitely make sure you use that carrier oil or something that's been created with a carrier oil in it already. So I think that's really important to consider. The containers you use oils in, the oils themselves, um, what, are we, what are we actually putting with, a, with an essential oil to help it to be safe? Um, and then think about the quality of oils that you're using. Um, when we go to the grocery store and we pick up an essential oil, what we're buying into is not just a company that's like, hey, let me sell you a $15 bottle of frankincense. Um, we have to consider where that frankincense came from. That bottle of frankincense, in, in most of the store cases, we follow a page called Essential Oil Consumer. I highly, highly recommend it. It is full of third-party testing, and it's often done on different brands. Um, it's not a doTERRA site, but if, it, if you're on Facebook, definitely follow them. They may be on Instagram, too. Um, but it's completely non-biased and unrelated to an oils company, so you can learn a lot there. But every time they're testing grocery store oils, it's spiking in fake oils. Now, fake oil doesn't mean that it's a bad oil, but what it means is it's claiming something that it's actually not. So often that cinnamon is not cinnamon, it's cassia, which is a cheaper version of cinnamon. And if you're trying to use it to address blood sugar levels, it can actually be much more dangerous than a real cinnamon bottle. It also isn't going to have um, the same chemical components of a, ca a cinnamon oil. So cassia smells a lot like cinnamon, but it's different. It's a lot cheaper to produce. And in those grocery store brands, sometimes it's not even real cassia. It's this synthetic version. It's what was created in a lab because that's much more cost effective, right? Instead of depending on the weather and the soil and the climate and what could come um, in a bad harvest or a great harvest. And, and depending on nature, um, it's much more controllable and affordable to create something in a lab. So for those of you who've ever tried an essential oil from the grocery store, 
and then compared it to a really high quality oil like doTERRA's, you're going to notice right away just from smelling it the huge difference. And then if you were to run reports or even search out reports from that company, not from the company, but done on that company's oils compared to other high quality oils, you'll see the synthetics. You'll see um, oftentimes things that are not even written on the bottle. You know, lavender will have a totally different oil component in it that just doesn't make sense. So when they're selling you that $15 bottle of frankincense, really what you're doing is burning $15 because you're not going to get that therapeutic benefit of frankincense oil when you just buy the $15 bottle. For doTERRA's, the cost is much more. It's about $90 retail or $70 wholesale. But the difference is when I drop one drop of that oil, even to get this the olfactory comparison, to smell one drop of doTERRA's oil in a diffuser and that $15 bottle of, of frankincense from the store, I may need to use half of the bottle just to get the aromatic um, kind of almost like a flavor compound that you would get out of food, but it's that aromatic um, true note from the, from the frankincense oil compared to what you would get at the grocery store. It's just a dramatically different experience. And this the smell test, as, as crude as that sounds, is one of the first tests that tells the difference between a high quality oil and a low quality oil. So when we look at doTERRA, we're very transparent and it's one of the reasons we've been able to stay with this company. It's one of the reasons that we've been able to create income with this company because out of all of the oil companies, doTERRA took over the world. In about four, I guess it was eight years, I think we're in our eighth year as a company, um, we went from nothing to the top selling global essential oils company in the world. That's pretty, pretty tremendous. And this is the way we did it. We didn't just go, I say we, I came in four years later, but I love it so much. It's really easy to identify with. We came in um, and looked at where across the globe, these were essential oil experts before they even built our company. But they looked across the globe and said, where are oils, where are plants growing the best? How can we not only make an impact in the community, in the growers' lives, in the sustainability of a culture and a, a product through that, through the harvesting and cultivation of that plant, which is a whole nother thing that we can talk about. Co-impact sourcing is my heart, it's missions, it's um, globally minded, it is societally impacting, it's powerful. But we look at where does the plant grow best? Where is the climate most ideal components out of an extraction when we, uh, when we take the plant from just material and turn it into essential oil? So doTERRA does that through a different, two different methods, either steam distillation or cold pressing of the essential oil. So citruses, um, lemon, grapefruit, lime, this is all coming from the peel. And we're going to cold press that oil. And then when you look at frankincense that comes from the resin of the tree, um, peppermint, these are all oils that are distilled from the, from the steam distillation of different parts of those plants. So that's a little education that maybe helps you learn that oils are just the aromatic compounds of plants extracted from different parts to fulfill a specific purpose. So as you're looking for an oil, you may notice, hey, I really, I really like the benefit of um, frankincense for mental clarity, but I don't love how it smells, right? I mean, usually it's the other way around, but compare it to patchouli. Patchouli is an oil that has very strong components to affect mental clarity. So if you're able to say, I don't love the smell of this oil, but what's really happening is the active chemistry in that oil can be compared um, for the same benefit as an oil where you really do enjoy the um, olfactory, that smell profile, more than another one. So I'm going to link a couple of things, and I'm going to have um, Bo check out, let's see if we can make this big real quick. Um, I'm going to have Bo check out our um, answers, our question and answers, and we'll see if we can figure out some things that we can answer for you guys.
Oh, Bo's saying that he's putting out a bunch of videos. Yeah, he's been working like a fiend lately. You guys are super easy. All right, John's tuning in from England. That's exciting. Oils in your coffee. Have you guys been using oils in your coffee? I'll give you a couple of tips. A friend of mine makes a lavender, um, what is it called? Uh, a lavender whipped cream. And she puts that on top of her just normal coffee in the morning. It is un. Believable. I have never had something taste so good in just like a simple coffee with a little bit of cream in it. And then she adds that on top. It's pretty amazing. You could put it on like pancakes or anything like that. Um, that might be something helpful to share is um, a, a common oils question is, are oils safe to use um, internally? And I would say when you're talking about doTERRA, yes. Because of the testing that we go through and because of the um, high quality of oils. Oils are never grown with or with pesticides when it comes to doTERRA. In fact, it's one of those things like when people ask, is it organic? Usually, um, maybe with the exception of John in England, we're talking about a USDA approved organic standard. Um, I don't really give that much thought. In fact, when I shop for groceries, when I shop for produce, some things I purchase organic, some things I don't. Like if it's on that dirty dozen list, greens, um, apples, berries, I go organic. But if I'm at the farmer's market, I don't care if they have their certs. I don't care if they're using organic or not because those people care about their food and they care about giving me food that is good for my family. So the USDA cert is not something that I think is necessarily um, required in terms of high quality. But that's usually the question we get when someone asks, are these organic? They're asking, are these USDA approved oils? And the reality is that no, no government agency uh, regulates oils at all. The entire oil industry is up to its own standards really and it, it can be difficult to find out what you can trust and what is maybe questionable and that's why I recommend doing your own research and in fact when we were looking into doTERRA it was just a no-brainer everything was laid bare we could look up anything we wanted to about the company and it would all be right there so let me post this um, information about doTERRA's sourcing and um, and co-impact. Uh, this is really the heart of, of the company. So beyond just not using pesticides on our product, which will never ever happen, um, we get our oils, let's say lemon, for example, is from Italy. These were growers that were growing lemon as a fruit to sell as produce. And then doTERRA came in and said, hey, we're really introduced, interested in uh, creating a sort of co-op in your area, a community of growers all invested in one another and invested in the high quality so that pesticides was not even a thing between the growers. You weren't worried about cross-contamination, but we want to create a community of growers that can sustain our doTERRA's need for lemon essential oil. Now it meant that they were gonna have to harvest a little differently than they normally were used to. And most of these farmers or these farms were generational. They had been fourth and 10th generation lemon growers. So they had to do some things differently, but really what was innovative about it is they were all struggling to produce and compete in the produce department department sorry and then when they became essential oil growers all of a sudden this was ideal this was investment this was long-term view for them and source to you is really a perfect place for you to go and learn more about the integrity of the company and what um, sourcing oils looks like because what you're getting at the grocery store is just absolutely in no way able to compare to the high quality that you get with doTERRA so one of the key elements not only in um, how do we dilute essential oils? What containers are safe to use with essential oils? But what company are you putting your money toward? And what do they stand for in terms of safety with essential oils? Not just education, which is mind-blowing with our company. I don't see 
any other direct sales companies or companies like ours um, educating in the way that doTERRA does. Even our conferences that happen every year, it's full of people who are not building a business. It's full of people who just want to know more about the science, who want to hear from the Johns Hopkins scientist coming in and talking to us about the efficacy of essential oils and how bioavailable uh, they are to our bodies to then use and move on. That's unbelievable to have top-rated, high-integrity scientists come and share about the power of your company, but also of your product. So considering, hey, Stephanie, glad you're here. Glad you're learning. Um, we're always learning alongside of it, too. And that's one of the reasons we go to these conferences is, A, they're super fun, and I don't want to miss out on that. But B, I get to exercise this part of my brain that just lights up with enthusiasm and excitement over what I already have sitting on my shelf. So if you guys already have oils, go ahead and take a quick second and just hit me, 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 or something like that over in the chat. And that way we can know a little bit about um, how we can help you and maybe answer some of your questions. My Whether we sold you oils or someone else helped you get your oils or just introduced you to doTERRA, my greatest pet peeve, and we have traveled extensively over across our nation sharing oils um, most heavily about two years ago. And since then, we have seen so many holes happen, whether it was someone who got their oils from the grocery store or another company, and they just weren't followed up with. And their oils are sitting on their shelves. They may have spent hundreds of dollars on these oils that are just sitting back there, not getting used. And that is my greatest pet peeve and most grinding heartache about essential oils is that we don't always know um, how to use them. So that's kind of the champion cause that Bo and I take up is, oh man, I don't care where you got these, but you really need to learn how to use them. So I hope that uh, talking about the safety and the efficacy of oils tonight really does transform the way you look at those bottles that hopefully you already have. Oh, good, Jan, you're on too. Glad to hear from you. So if you've gotten oils already, um, or if you've gotten samples from us, we hope that you can use them well. Um, but we really want to make sure that we don't leave any of your questions unanswered. So far, the chat has been really quiet. And that's okay with me. I'm really good with awkward silence. If you've ever seen our blogs, that's usually what most of my lines are, is just staring and being quiet. Um, but I want to share a couple more a couple more websites with y'all. So why don't we get some comments going in the chat and that way I can um, pull up just a couple more websites for you. Let me pull this down. All right. Oh, here's one, okay. So if you've been using doTERRA or if you're using something totally different, um, usually the benefit of that oil is gonna be the same. If it's a really crappy oil, I can't help you a ton. But if you've been using oils with another company, that's totally cool. Your lavender is gonna be probably comparative to our lavender. But this is a great app that you can get totally for free. And I am all about free resources whenever you can get them, as long as they're reliable, right? So check out this app. It's called doTERRA Daily Drop. And if you guys download the app and take a screenshot, email it to us and we'll send you something really great. So here's your challenge. Go to your app store, download doTERRA Daily Drop, and then take a screenshot that you actually downloaded it by doing this. As soon as it opens up, click on the track that you wanna learn more. It may be um, cleaning with natural solutions, it may be immune support or using oils with kids or athletes and oils. There are different tracks and on this app, all it does is educate you through video. So let's say five to 15 videos, depending on what the track is, every day will deliver a new one. Now it won't give you more than one a day, it will just give you one. And that day you watch the video and then the next day it'll send you a new one right around the same time, I think it's about midday. But go ahead and download that app. So this is our challenge for you. Remember, we aren't going to let you sleep through this whole time together. But go ahead and download doTERRA Daily Drop. 
right in your app store, and then take a screenshot of it and email it to kelly at bettertogetherlife.com. Or you can email it, actually, this might be even easier for you guys to remember. Email it to bettertogetherlife at gmail.com. So you want to download the app. You want to take a screenshot of your first track. And then email it to bettertogetherlife at gmail.com. Give us your mailing address and we'll send you something for free just for participating and having fun and really getting your hands into this. Now my very favorite part of this app, aside from it being free, I want to like remind you, it's free. Don't worry about it. You download it for free. We don't get any credit for it. It just helps you have education right at your fingertips. Download that app and then um, in the menu, like it's in the top corner, I guess it would be over here as you're looking at it. So the top corner of the menu is going to drop down and there's one that says, I think it's mood. Let me look on mine real quick so I don't forget. I think it's like the mood manager or mood assessment. But basically, you rate how you're feeling. It'll ask you different questions from apathy to nervousness or feeling gloomy or different things. And then from that, it will help you to assess which oil that you need. It's called determine your mood. And when you click on that, it gives you a list of, it's probably hard for you to see, but anyhow, it gives you a list of anything from discouragement or feeling overwhelmed or bitter, and you rate it, and then it's going to tell you which essential oil to use based on how you're feeling at that moment. So it's highly interactive and really satisfying because right there, oh good, it can tell me I should use console and balance, which balance is like my all-time favorite oil, so that's great. Uh, but it will tell you all the information that you need about that oil and you can research more and more on your own if you're just looking in that source to you or there's a website called doTERRA University when you enroll with us this is something that we do one-on-one -on -one with you so just recently um, the last time we had a webinar like this we had five people enroll and then we did wellness consults with each of them and it's kind of like this it's about 45 minutes of sitting together of opening up the oils that you just purchased and then we walk you through some really great locations for you to just keep learning. We don't want to be your experts. We just want to be the people who point you in the right direction to learn what you're most interested about. So you want to make sure that you find out how to use the oils that you have, and we just help you get started. We also run something called Oils Camp. And in Oils Camp, you learn how to um, use all of the oils that are very basic oils, like lemon, on guard, lavender, your diffuser, and there's all kinds of different highlights that we, that we address over two weeks' time. It's come and go. It's really easy. If you are on that group, if uh, we've got Joan or Nina in here, go ahead and tell us how much you're loving Oil Camp because it's really changing the way that people are using their oils. No one else on our team has them sitting in the back just collecting dust and wasting away. We're actually using our oils. We're finding benefit from them. And that is power because I really believe when you know better, you do better. Um, if you use the information, I guess you could know better and not do better if you're just being lazy about it. Um, but if you are starting with oils, then you really know how, how, to, how to utilize what you have already. It's not about selling you more oils. It's about saying, hey, you've gotten these. Let's not, let's not waste them. So whether you're using that doTERRA Daily Drop app that I recommended, or you're coming and enrolling with us for the first time, you're getting your oils. You have that one-on-one -on -one with us. Then we engage everything online. We can answer your questions as you need them. But support, I think we, we highlight this a lot if you're part of our mailing list. Um, you've seen us compare learning about oils to learning a new language. And... As, as we try and teach our kids English, so much of it's by example, so much of it's by, um, by experience and kind of immersion learning, right? Or the best way to learn when you're going to go to a new country is just surround yourself with people who know the language. And that's really what we get to be for you, is we get to be that conversation to help you learn what the language is, what the lingo is even about essential oils, and then identify the ones that are best for your family. So there are a bunch of different ways to actually get started with doTERRA. It looks like we're having some um, 
chat on the conversation, but both kind of both kind of taking care of it. Um, and then as you have questions, if there's anything I can, if Bo, if you hear me and you walk in and tell me like, hey, we need to answer this question, um, that's cool too. Uh, but the way that you actually get your oils is a couple different ways. This is what I recommend to everyone, and you guys just choose what works best for you. But I recommend a wholesale membership. So whether we are the ones who told you about this event tonight and taught you, or someone else uh, told you about this event tonight, go to whoever introduced you to doTERRA. Go to whoever talked to you about it first, maybe shared a sample with you first, because they're going to be your best resource. They're going to be highly invested in you, whether it's us or someone else. If you're not getting the support that you need, then always come back to us. We can help you wherever you're at. But this is the best way to get your oils. It's the most cost effective, and it's the best in terms of commitment, right? Because there isn't any. So if you're getting doTERRA, I recommend a wholesale membership. And this is what you got to think of. Wholesale membership with doTERRA is parallel to a Costco membership. And if you are like me, you go to Costco maybe every once in a while and just load up, right? So doTERRA's membership is $35. You get what you want, when you want it. There's no additional fee. You, It's yours for 12 months, and you don't have a minimum to order every month in order to keep that discount. You get 25% off retail prices. So automatically, you're getting a huge discount. Um, instead of giant bags of popcorn, you're getting wellness for your household. So $35 is your membership for 12 months from whenever you begin, and you get 25% off the retail price. You can get what you want when you want it. It'll ship straight to your house. You don't have to come through us. Even that first order, we just help you set it up. You don't even have to come through us. Um, and everything goes straight to your door. The benefits of wholesale memberships is that you can also increase your perks. You can get free products every month if you want to. You can get kickbacks from uh, doTERRA in terms of every time you order, you get a little percentage back in doTERRA cash. We call them points. And every time you earn a point, with doTERRA versus frequent flyer miles, one point equals one dollar. So if you want an oil that costs ten dollars for 250 drops of lemon, for example, it's ten points and you can actually get that for free. And that very costly frankincense that I mentioned at the beginning of class, we get ours for free all the time. We never, we never spend money on our frankincense because we're already um, enjoying the benefits of our membership. So that's an additional option not required it's perfectly flexible but focus on that Costco type membership $35 for doTERRA and then it's yours for 12 months to get 25% off the retail price and you get what you want when you want it no no big questions um, the other option is to order retail and we can list our site if you want to do that it's going to be more costly and quite frankly we are big bang for our buck kind of people, and, and I don't recommend it. So if you just feel sad for us and you want to buy an oil because you'll probably never get another one or because you feel like, ah, whatever, I don't know if I'm ever going to use this oil, then maybe retail is good for you. But in that case, maybe just wait until you're ready to get oils. So let me look at the chat, and we will um, start talking about some of your questions because Bo was saying there's some good stuff in there. All right, Stephanie, glad you're here. And Jan, it's an hour later where you are. Okay, so Jan was saying, you haven't tried your Slim and Sassy oil yet, but you're not sure how to use it. For those of you who are starting with doTERRA and you don't know what Slim and Sassy means, it's one of our blends, and it is not a blend that makes you skinny and gives you a bad attitude. It actually, on the side of the bottle, even says it's our metabolic blend. So this oil, if you have the oil part of it, Jan, um, it comes in a couple different options. My favorite is the soft gel. And as soon as this baby gets here, I'm starting up my Lifelong Vitality Supplements and my Slim and Sassy again because I just feel better energy. I can tell my metabolism is up because I'm not hitting these like low sugar peaks and, and valleys at the end of the or middle of the day, like around four o'clock. So Slim and Sassy is great for anyone 
uh, who is looking to balance out their metabolism, whether it's low or high, we're looking for that even homeostasis. So while we're focusing on safety of oils, I think that's a great question um, to just introduce the idea of how oils work with your body. They usually absorb whether you smell them, you taste them, or you put them on your skin. They absorb within a few minutes, and then they're going to travel systemically through your body. So the benefit of taking it internally with Slim and Sassy is that we're addressing the digestive tract right away. So if you're taking Slim and Sassy in a soft gel, you can just take it a few times. I think it's directed three times a day, maybe, Jan, in the on the side of the bottle. If you're taking the oil, um, you can take it in a little shot glass of water, or you can put it in your water bottle. But remember, we talked about safety. So if you're going to use it in the water bottle, make sure that your water bottle is stainless steel with no plastic or it is glass, a glass water bottle. And if it's at the top of your water bottle where it, like the, the lid is plastic, that's usually okay. Um, you just have to be cautious. I think it's usually the O-rings at the top that keep that seal. Um, that sometimes can get corroded by essential oils. So just watch it and check and see how that works for you. Um, I think Clean Canteen is a really good brand to use. Uh, and we have a couple of glass water bottles, honestly, that I picked up at my Costco. <laughs> um, last summer, I think I got them. And I think they're really great water bottles. We haven't used them in our stainless steel ones, but I know my sister does. And they don't have a problem with that at all. So I hope that's a good way to use your Slim and Sassy. You can also put it in smoothies, Jan, if you like smoothies. Um, it just depends on if you care for the taste. It's got um, definitely peppermint, ginger, wild orange, grapefruit. And I think there might be one more in there that I can't remember right now. But it's all oils that are going to support a healthy metabolism. And um, cinnamon is in there as well, which is excellent for blood sugar regulation. And then it kind of curbs your craving. Like, have you ever heard of that crazy grapefruit diet. It's not a dietary thing. I mean, this could be an ongoing supplement that you take over time or use oils as a supplement. And really what we're looking to do is just have oils fill in the gaps as a supplement, and then your body begins to heal itself. So that's the idea is if we give our body what it needs, then our body's going to take care of itself. It's just the way that God designed it. So we don't have to really <laughs> worry about um, are these oils going to do their job, their job is to complement our body's need, and then the body does its job, if that makes a little bit of sense. Um, True Loves, you asked about if we talked about oil safety with kids. This is a great time to address that. Thank you for asking that question. So oils with kids, um, I just come back to this handy dandy little bottle. So whether you're using the touch line that I described with doTERRA that's already diluted, or you're creating your own little glass roller bottles that have essential oil and coconut oil. Depending on the age of the kid and the and the issue that's going on, I usually recommend one drop of carrier or one drop of essential oil to four drops of carrier oil. That's just real basic. And then the younger they are, you can totally dilute more. In fact, I think it's on the back. Of course, I just put my bottle away. Um, but on the back, oh, I have one right here. Hold on just a second. I have many bottles right here, so I'll show you the big stash, and then I'll just pick one out. Um, so this is how much we love our oils. I don't even keep them on the counter um, in, a, in a little wooden bottle anymore because I just need them whenever we go places. So I mentioned that we travel a lot. Um, obviously, we haven't been doing that. I haven't done this in a while. We haven't been doing that since this little one is closer and closer to arrival. Um, but let me show you what doTERRA recommends. So on each bottle, it's really great help to know that doTERRA is giving you all kinds of information. So there's um, the name of the oil and its purpose. And then this is kind of a little decoder session for you. And then there's information for supplements, if this is safe to take internally. And then there's also directions just under the little scan code. This is actually where you can test or read the test view, uh, review of this individual bottle of oil, which is pretty awesome. But it's always going to say, like, caution, keep away from children, like any kind of medication. Um, 
And then it's gonna, this one in particular has citrus oil. So it says if you apply topically, stay out of the sun. Um, but it has instructions to use internally. And it says for internal use, dilute one drop in four fluid ounces. So let's say that was coconut oil or water. That's a lot of ounces for one drop. So find, um, doTERRA is going to be really conservative on the bottle. Find what works best for you. But I will say this. If you look up Google or just anywhere else, I'll type it in here. Um, Dr. Hill's, I guess, dosage recommendation. So Dr. Hill is doTERRA's chief medical officer. He's spoken many times that we've gotten to listen to him in person and then lots of webinars online. Um, follow doTERRA on Facebook, follow them on Instagram, and you're going to see lots of videos from them that are highly educational and informative. And he recommends two to four drops every two to four hours. So obviously if we're diluting in four ounces of liquid and we're putting that on our kids, that's not necessarily the same. But this is a really steady dosage um, to maintain wellness. It's so much easier to maintain wellness in your household than it is to be recovering from a deficit, right? So think about this. If we're maintaining wellness through a diffuser, right, like maybe some on guard in the diffuser throughout the day, we're supporting immune system all day long. And it's two to four drops every two to four hours. And then with little kids, you can just dilute that. Or with pregnancy, you can dilute that about the same. And um, for example, if I use an oil like clove on the jawline when my children are teething, which is, I'm pretty well known for that, clove and frankincense or chamomile, something that's soothing and calming and supports inflammatory response in their mouth, then... Um, I will use something a lot stronger, maybe like 16 drops of coconut oil to one drop of clove oil. So clove is a warming oil, just like this On Guard is going to have cinnamon and clove in it. This is going to be a very warm oil. So when we apply it topically, you want to keep that skin sensitivity in mind. Just increase the coconut oil. So doTERRA is going to say in fluid ounces, four fluid ounces, one drop. Um, I've never used that high of a ratio, but for you, find, find what works best for you. And the benefit of oils is they're benign, so they're really not going to induce any kind of great fearful reaction. If you notice on the skin that you apply this, so um, True Loves, you're asking how do we do this with kids or just in general, whether it's a child or an adult, if you notice on the skin that there's a redness or a sensitivity, just put a little bit more oil topically. And that's going to help to reduce that redness and reduce that sensitivity. Um, what was I going to say? And that's for any age. A really safe place to try oils for the first time with your kiddos, if that was even your question. You might have just wanted to know about grown-ups. But if that was your question about kids, try it on the feet because the feet have thicker skin on it. And you're less likely to see um, a dramatic reaction if it was a skin sensitivity to that oil. Um, but if you do, it's also really easy to just apply more oil there, right? So oils on the feet are a great location to test out an oil. And then when I'm using oils most effectively, I put them on the back of the neck here, down the spine, um, even across the chest, especially right over the heart is great, especially for essential oils that are mood related or, or um, on either side of the wrists and behind the ears. So if you're going to apply them, on one wrist, you really want to mirror that on the other side. Same with the ears, same with the feet. Um, but if you're applying them just to the back of the neck or down the spine, obviously you just want to put it in one place. But if you haven't heard that just yet, um, I do recommend diluting anytime you use oils topically. So I hope that's helpful. Um, okay, so we're looking, let me look at a couple other questions real quick. Chipper, I hope this is helping, giving you a little bit more answers to your questions. Even though you say you didn't know diddly squat, I hope you know maybe just like squat by the time you leave. Less diddly squat, right? Okay. Some of the uses of oils. 
Um, that's a great question. So Chipper asked, what are some uses of oils? Um, that's super duper broad. We've covered a couple of ways to use lavender or on guard or, um, or frankincense, for example, but really I would cover body systems. That might be the easier thing. So yes, oils smell really great and they're going to be super helpful just to like smell better than anything else you're using. If you use oust spray, if you use a candle, if you use any kind of like scent warmer, I highly recommend throw it away. There are very few times in my life where I'm like, hmm, maybe that's not a good idea versus this is your opinion, this is your life. Do what you want with your life. But I highly recommend you get rid of the toxic crap in your house and you put something better in it. Like I said, whether you get oils from us or someone else, a diffuser is going to 10,000 fold fix the, the health risks in your house compared to something else synthetic that you are using to scent your air or to clear it out. So essential oils in a diffuser with just water. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about phthalates. There's no carcinogens. There's no additional burning element to it. When you see a candle burning, like who doesn't love that smell of like a, like for us, fire pit? Or when you blow out a candle, I love that smell. But really what that's doing is releasing carcinogenic toxins into the air. I'm not willing to do that anymore now that I have that information. So yes, oils smell good. They have a great benefit there. But really, oils have two purposes. Every oil that you use has a physical and an emotional benefit to it. So we can use oils to help us process and cope through emotions. If you guys were on our last webinar or maybe two webinars ago, it was all about essential wellness, uh, emotional wellness through essential oils. And that's a great one for you to go check out and kind of learn topically. A lot of our videos have topical information from digestive system. Remember, we're talking body system. So digestive system, um, immune system, which actually starts in your gut. I think it's 70 to 80% of your immune system is in your gut. And there's continuing research on this. Um, if you're looking at emotional mood support, mental clarity, um, nervous system, all of these things our body systems and when we can use an oil to help the body meet its needs then our body begins to heal itself that's the game changer we're looking at with essential oils not something that over time we're going to have to increase the dosage of but something that over time is going to heal the body and the body does its own job to restore itself so here's one of the ways that we've actually learned about that this book, screenshot this, do whatever you need to do to remember this information. But this book, Modern Essentials, is really what I recommend. We did a video a few weeks ago. Bo just walked in. That's why I keep looking awkwardly at the side. But um, we did a video a few weeks ago all about my favorite resources. And what I love most about this book, you can get it at aromatools.com if you've already got your oils. If you're on our team or you're enrolling with us, talk to us about getting this book. We'll help you. Um, but the back is all about different topics and different um, information. If you want to be a learner, this is where you start. I like this book out of all. I have some huge books. Um, but this is my favorite one because it's so user-friendly. And then it's going to tell us about the individual oils in the book as well. So get something that's helpful for you. If you love apps, you can get the Modern Essentials in an app. You can... Just Google search everything and bookmark it and come back when you have time. Know that you're not going to learn everything about oils all at once. It's a, it's a new language. It's a new conversation um, to have with the oils, with yourself, with someone who helps you get your oils. All of these things together are really pretty critical in terms of how you learn about oils. And it doesn't have to be all at once. It can be fun. We've got this oils camp going on. We do a one-on-one -on -one with you when you get your oils. But it should be a decision. It shouldn't be something you just fall into. Um, it's a decision, and it's a decision to invest in your health, to invest in your wellness emotionally and physically. So yes, those are a couple, that's sort of the long way to get around to. There are lots of different ways to use your oils. Emotionally and physically are, are, really, broad, are really broad terms. Um, but then when we get down to it, we're really focusing on body systems and really looking at 
how do we help meet the body's needs so that it can really function at an optimal level? I keep saying really, but that's kind of how I feel about it. It's it's just the the height of what you can offer yourself in terms of ease of use, bioavailability, and simple simple tools, right? Wherever we go, we've got the simple tool in our tool bag to help. So let's see if there's anything else I missed. Good, Jan, you were saying you have a glass bottle. Yeah, smoothies. I'm scooting over so Bo can be a part too. Hi. Okay, guy. Did I miss other things well, that you think I, of? No, no, no. I think you're doing great. Uh, I, I think we're having a little bit of technical difficulties. There's like a five-minute delay. Typically, oh. there's like a nine-second yeah, delay or something like that. Um, so so I, I'm, I'm not sure where you left off from what oh, I was good. listening to. So we answered all these questions to this one right here. Yeah. Okay. What are what are the uses that we do? What are the specific yeah. ways? Great. And and of course, you know, yeah. um, we want to be able to keep this video up uh, for yeah. everyone to learn from. So we're Kelly's going to be. We will speak compliantly. <laughs> yeah. So if you were to follow us through a day, the first thing we do is we shower with non toxic products. So. Mm -hmm if you get your shower at the beginning of the day. So that means my shampoo, my conditioner, my face wash, all doTERRA, all clean. My toothpaste, non-fluoride, it's whitening toothpaste, it uses xylitol as a sweetener, it's doTERRA, it has On Guard in it. Um, and then when we get into the day, if we're homeschooling, I'm usually putting On Guard on the back of the kids. Um, we are usually outside so we use a terra shield why do you use spray. on guard on oh the not kids? on guard sorry in tune okay so why we do would you use, use in tune for focus and mental clarity so those things that we talked about at the beginning with frankincense and patchouli this is a blend that already contains those and helps to just kind of clear clear all the thoughts so that we can hone in on just what what the task is at hand and when did we start using in tune i was going to say Everett? You've been using Intune a lot lately to get through some of this pre-baby stuff so he's yeah. not distracted and just focused on video. Doing, Trying to do five plus videos a week. Yeah, we used Intune. Um, take a look at that. Yeah. We used Intune whenever it turned about, I think, three to four. Three to four is when we really started it, and we and we didn't need it much after that, but mm -hmm. it just helped him in the classroom. He was just kind of everywhere, and we talked to him about oils. It's important to us that our kids don't think that oils are God, so we allow them to pray when we use oils. Just thank the Lord. Thank you for this tool. Thank you for um, being my healer. Thank you for being the reason I can focus all of these things versus, hey, use this oil, and if you don't have it, it's it's like you're debilitated. Like, yeah. you know, it's just a tool. It's just something that helps. Um, so we use in tune with them. Then we use Terra Shield, which is honestly highly, highly effective now that we've we've changed that formula yeah. through doTERRA. Um, we added a couple oils and it just shifted everything. What is Terra Shield? Terra, I just shared that. Oh, oh see, I didn't hear it just now. Twice. It's okay. the bug spray. See, this is why I don't teach classes with him. Because he's trying to help you. But he's kind of jacking things. <laughs> so, Terra Shields the bug spray. I was using off all the time, and then we found this, and it's just a lot better. So, get Terra Shield bug spray. And then, what do we use? Um, you know, if you get bit by a bug, we already shared about lavender with that. Emotions run high in our house because we have a very pregnant woman, a very independent entrepreneur. And then three children who think they rule everything. So all of the feelings all of the time, and we talk about oils for that. But I know you just pulled this out, and this is your favorite thing. Well, because it, this is what got me into this as a guy, especially ever since we started gardening. Mm -hmm. uh, this, you just have all of those. You, you, you want me to talk about this compliantly? I do want to hear. Okay. So Deep Blue Rub, you could compare to Icy Hot, right? So if you have just been working out or straining your muscles in a way that they're not used to, Icy Hot is great, but this has way better ingredients. And also, I've noticed if I compare the two, this penetrates very quickly 
and then it lingers a lot longer than what I would normally get at the drugstore. So this is a lotion base, and it's got all the ingredients on the back. You can look these all up online. And then it has our deep blue rub with deep blue oil in it. So there's about 10, I think maybe this is five. I think this has 10 milliliters of essential oil in the four, yeah, four ounces of lotion. And it's excellent because it's inflammatory support right here. So wherever you fall in that spectrum of need, this is going to be beneficial. So either the rub or it comes in an oil itself. And then we use oils to help support sleep. So we are kind of oil junkies. We have them all day long for everything. I keep them in this keychain. I have another little bag that I keep in my purse. This might be good to talk about too. Yeah. So for those of you who are ready to get started with oils, we're ready to help you. Um, we definitely want you to make sure that you take advantage of learning all that you can learn, but getting them in your hands is going to make all the difference. So that wholesale membership we described earlier, um, we're giving everyone who enrolls with a kit one of these keychains. So the kits, I'm going to link here. And um, the one that we're starting with is if you're getting a home essentials kit, which would come with a diffuser, and all of your really basic oils that help you set you up for success, um, these are kits that we recommend. And if you're starting with a home essentials kit, um, you get a free keychain with some of our favorite oils. So um, when you're ready to enroll, we'll help you do that. You can either message us or I'll put a link to our site right now. And you guys, if you know what you want, you can go ahead and do it right there. And either way, we'll have email info so that we can get you started right away with that wellness consult that I mentioned. And all of the, um, hold on just a second. Let me put this last link up. Um, can you answer one of those questions? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh think no, I don't think there was any other ones so yes Kevin we are still here uh, I don't know the delay of when you're hearing this but yeah, um, I'm that, sorry, that's not oh working. no it's weird it's 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 never been that that long the I think the live chat is on exactly mm -hmm. at the time so or maybe it's just my phone so hopefully there's not a huge delay um, which could be our internet yeah, it's it's very possible it's funny, we're going to move uh, to a town of 5,000, outside of a town of 5,000, and I think we can get the same internet speed as we are here in so the suburbs, because our area puts in a monopoly on this. Anyway. Now you know more about our life than you wanted to. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, yes. Uh, Chip, let us know if you have any other uh uh, specific questions uh, we're, we're mm -hmm. about wrapping up so if y'all have any questions uh, you got to put them now do we want to do you want to link the free are we doing free samples oh this? yeah let's see that. yeah okay so I'm gonna put down in the chat uh, the link to our free sample mm -hmm. so we did that little promotion um, about a Cheers. month ago and well, then we I'm, did I'm, it again a yeah and then we ago. opened it up just mm -hmm. now so so basically, it's you know all, the, all you have to do is just pay shipping, and we'll mm -hmm. send you uh, up to three samples. Uh, we are limiting limiting it to people who haven't gotten it yet. So, yeah. I'm so sorry, Jan. <laughs> For those of you who've already gotten your samples from us. Enjoy yes. that. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we want to be able to sample for other people as well. So the last two links that you're going to see are the enrollment kits that we mentioned. That actually includes the $35 membership. So the wholesale membership that I shared, $35, and you get what you want for 12 months, you're going to actually have that fee waived and get a deeper discount on what you get started with by clicking on that very first link, which we recommend the wholesale, the whole home essential kit. And then the next link is where you actually put in your information so that you can get your order. And then the very last link is for those of you who need to try some samples and you haven't, you're not ready to take the plunge yet, you really want to get your hands on some oils, we want to get you those. So follow that link and it, uh, it says Better Together Life Click Funnel. This is going to get you those samples, Jan. Well, I know, Jan, that you've been really enjoying your oils and I love every time you get on here because it really helps to keep the conversation going. So you are welcome to come all the time and share everything with us. Okay, so Kevin was asking for some oils that might support inflammatory support. Man, Kevin, here's what I would recommend. Um, 
use the same protocol that you're using. So don't, you know, we're not doctors. We're not going to claim to, um, we're not going to claim to like tell you to get off any medication or anything. That's not our job. But this is what I'm going to recommend you add and see the benefits from. The first is lifelong vitality. It's a supplement line that includes oils for cellular support, your general whole food nutrition, and then it also has oils like fish oils and essential oils that are going to help support um, general inflammatory support. And from, cell, from cellular health, where we're producing energy at a cellular level, as you continue to clean things up like diet and environmental triggers that can, that can influence a poor inflammatory response, then you really will see a big change in how your body processes um, that, how, how just how your body processes in response to an inflammation and it needs, your body needs to be taking care of itself, right? And then I recommend that deep blue rub or we have something called the deep blue polyphenol mm -hmm. and that's a supplement that I would put along with it. So it might be a lot of supplements all at once, but the idea is that over time you really don't have to continue that. Um, and then deep blue, definitely deep blue oil to um, mm. just apply topically as, as needed. But I do think that there's a lot of benefits to um, oils that help support a healthy inflammatory response. So yeah. that's a great question. Um, yes, the book is awesome, Chipper. I highly recommend it. Even Bo pulls it out. Um, and he's not a big fan of like desk references like I am. I'm highlighting everything and flipping through. Um, but yeah, check out the book. And then um, there's also an app for it. So if you're more prone to the phone, um, then download the, I think it's maybe $14 or something like that. But if you're really serious about oils, I think it's a great thing to purchase and just have available for you. Yeah, no problem, Kevin. Oh, Brandy Prepper, hey, good to see you. Um, let's see. Okay, Jan, you're good to go. Well, we want to give you a few more moments to ask any question. And because I know we're having a little delay, I'll just sit here awkwardly. Uh, but we want you to, we want to honor your time tonight and make sure we don't hold on to you too long. Okay, so remember, if you are downloading that doTERRA daily drop app, take a picture, a screenshot of you actually using it, and send it to us. We're going to send you something for free. So you can email us at bettertogetherlife at gmail.com and send us the picture of your screenshot from your doTERRA, um, from your doTERRA daily app. So, Brainy Prepper, you asked how much... Uh, why don't we schedule, let's schedule a time to talk. That's probably not something that's very kosher to talk about just in a, in a webinar like this. Um, but I'll tell you this, we make enough to pay our bills and to move us out of the suburbs and onto our property. So if those are ever questions. And to homeschool our kids. And to homeschool our kids. Yeah. yeah. We brought Bo home about two years. Um, well, actually, it's not that it's not polite. I just want to consider everyone else's time too. Um, well, email two year, us. Yeah, two years ago, Bo came home from his full-time job, and doTERRA became our full-time job. It also affords him the freedom to make the vlogs that you guys enjoy. And really, um, we talked about this just the other night, that his, his passion has always been to tell stories. Mm -hmm. So it's a cool thing to get to tell the stories of our family and the stories of our, our ups and our downs, um, but most importantly, to inspire people like us to do what we do. And I think that that's a great place to start. So we've had a lot of time to get to um, do those fun things because doTERRA has provided that kind of income. Yeah. So it's been, nothing is an overnight fix, but we definitely, we definitely get to pay the bills with that. So. Well, and hey, and I want to ask just because, yeah. um, I, I, uh, Chipper, I don't know if you're into this, but, but, but Brainy Prepper, I would imagine that you are. Uh, let us know, would you like one of our, you know, next coming up, uh, oils events here to be about oils and preparedness? Um, would y'all be interested yeah. in that? It's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is that a thumbs up? Yes. You would be interested. Okay, cool. Sweet. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll definitely do that. Cause 
That's we can a, share what we did to be prepared mm -hmm. and where that inspiration came from. Yeah. yeah. And then also what we're planning on, you know, ramping it up once we actually get out to the property. Yeah. Because yeah. we, we're still not even, I don't even think we're fully ready for that yet. No, we're definitely ready for suburb emergencies. Yeah. <laughs> but definitely different yeah. things when we get out there. Okay, guys, I want to wrap it up or we'd be here all night. You have great questions. Thank you so much for sharing. You are the reason these things run well. I love that because if, if you didn't ask questions, we wouldn't really know if we're serving you at all. So the mm -hmm. hope and desire is always that you leave with more information that you came, um, information that you can use well, and then when you're ready to get oils, talk to the person who told you about the event or introduced you to doTERRA or give us a call and we'll help you do that as well. So thank you guys so much. Have a great night and we will see you definitely on the vlog. Heck yeah. I got anything. You've I'm got a, a lot of stuff coming. I, up, I'm, I'm going to stay up late um, tonight. I'm working on a video that's the doing a more transparency mm -hmm. uh, thing. Brainy prepper to say like what all these bills are going to come yeah. like, for us building this homestead from What's scratch. So yeah. So we'll, you, there'll be some transparency with that. Yeah. You, you bet. It's good. So thank you guys. Thanks for your time. Thank you for investing in your wellness. It sounds so cliche if you don't know us really well, but the idea really is that we've been blessed to be a blessing. And I hope that this encourages you and gives you some information about how you can use something that's better safer, faster, mm. more effective, more cost effective when it comes to a natural solution for your household. So thanks for trusting us and letting us help you on that next step. Y'all have a good night. Bye guys.